So welcome back everyone, Mike here. This evening I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to use a battery powered chainsaw. Well actually it's not a chainsaw, it's a uh, pole saw, a pole pruner. It's the Steel HTA 85. I've used gas powered ones before but never battery powered. And this would be the maiden voyage for this one here. But anyway, I was always kind of curious to know just how long the battery would last. You know, how many cuts you could make. So I'm down here at the new house and I have a pretty good opportunity to try it out. You can see in the background all these pine trees behind me. Well, I need to cut maybe the, you know, the bottom 10 or 12 feet up. All the branches hang way down. So I need to trim all that up, kind of open that up underneath these pine trees some. So that's what I'm going to work on this evening. And what I'll do, I'll try to keep track of how many cuts I make until the battery dies and, and we'll just see how it goes. So by the end of this video, we should have at least some idea how long one of these batteries will last on this pole saw. So this is what we'll be using. It's the Steel HTA 85. It's a telescopic pole pruner. Uh, this thing will extend out to just a little bit over 12 feet long. With the AP300 lithium ion battery that I'm using tonight, the total weight of this is 14.6 pounds. Doesn't seem like a lot of weight, but when you have this thing stretched out, I'm sure it can be a handful. What powers the chain is a brushless high torque electric motor. Here's the battery we'll be using, the AP300 lithium ion. It's all charged up, ready to go. We'll take a walk down here, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. You can see these pine trees here, some of these branches, they need to come down, some of these. Those aren't too bad. Now this tree here, dead, it's got to come down. And same with these first two right here. They need to come down. But all these are going to stay. I kind of like the tunnel effect when you drive through here. But all these limbs, now some of these I can still reach with the chainsaw. But I want to go up high enough and just drop all those limbs down there to open this all up. I'll drop these limbs down and then I'll be able to get in here with the tractor and the grapple, pick them all up. Well, you can see, like look at this mess here. There's probably 30 or 40 right there that have to come off. So anyway, that's the plan. We're going to try this thing out.
Whoops. The grapple on the tractor will come in very handy cleaning up all these branches. Now what I was cutting, I'll give you a little better look here. I'd say most of it was about uh, this size here, inch, inch and a half. Some a little bit bigger. Some, you know, maybe three inches. But literally hundreds of them. I'm not even halfway done. There's uh, more than I thought. But that pole saw is a ticket for this kind of work. Oh, before I forget, if you didn't see the last video, I'll put that right here. That is Woodstack 2018. It is a uh, firewood stacking competition, not for speed, for quality. We're looking for the nicest stack of firewood on planet Earth. And so in that video, I go over all the details and the rules and, and how to enter. Uh, you won't have to submit pictures till the middle of October, but I'm just giving everybody time to start preparing and start stacking. And I would also ask if you do that sort of things and you have friends that cut firewood and burn firewood, Share that video with them if you would please and maybe on your Facebook page or or whatever tractor forms firewood forms There's all kind of forms out there the more exposure the video gets the more likely that we'll get more prizes and add more Categories so more people can win things also check out our Facebook page outdoors with the Morgans uh, I will post all the official rules on there in the next week or two as a kind of a follow-up to that video So that's that so back to the topic of this video the steel HTA 85 pole saw the intent here was to see how many cuts I could make Before the battery would give out. Well, I failed miserably because uh, I want to keep track I lost count after the first 50 or 75. I have no idea But I do know this the battery lasts a lot longer than I do that thing will give you a workout I used it for maybe an hour and a half straight and I don't know cut several hundred branches off this tree ranging in size from one inch up to maybe even four inches it just keeps going. So I apologize, but we'll have to finish this up another time because it's getting dark. But so far, I am very impressed with that saw. It's uh, much safer than screwing around with ladders and a lot faster. And But what I need to do before I finish this up is bring the tractor down with a grapple, try to clean this up, everything that I cut so far, so you're not tripping on it when I'm cutting. That'll be the next thing that I do. But anyway, yeah, it's a great pole saw, and uh, I'm very impressed. First time ever with a battery-operated anything like that, and uh, I'm impressed so far. I just want to use it again, though, and see how long that battery will actually last. But as of now, it lasts longer than I do. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. That really matters. Click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.